Russia, Moscow. October 23rd, 2002. Russia's first Broadway-style musical, Northeast, plays to a packed house of about 900 people. Suicide bombers take hundreds hostage in a Moscow theater. They rig the building with explosives. This is the inside story of how a desperate rescue mission went disastrously wrong. Now at the New End Auditorium in London, theatre-goers can delve into that experience for themselves. Natalia Palavine and Julian Wolford's latest stage production explores the relationship between captors and captives. It's been described as a challenging and powerful examination of contemporary moral dilemmas. The Moscow theatre siege was unprecedented in many ways, um, including the fact that 20 out of 40 hostage takers were women. And before 2002, women in jihad wasn't something that was common at all. In fact, it, from what I know, it was non-existent and prohibited by, by Quran. And it was the sheer numbers of those women, um, 20 out of 40 hostage takers, professional women from mo moderate Muslim families, by no means with any history of extremism. And the fact that they ended up in that theater was something so shocking to me. The 2002 siege ended when Russian forces raided the building and killed all 42 Chechen fighters. 129 of the hostages died, but not from gunfire. Instead, their deaths were caused by an unidentified knockout gas. The government subsequently bore much of the blame for their deaths. We're doing the, the vital thing of bringing the, what happened in that theatre back into public focus. By doing that, we possibly can prevent similar attacks, similar things happening in the future. Мы посвящаем этот спектакль безвинно убиенным людям в террористических актах. И поэтому это как бы символ вот, терроризма сегодня и борьба против этого терроризма. Так было в 2002 году в Москве. Спустя четыре года страшные события в театре на Дубровке легли в основу поставленного в Лондоне спектакля Натальи Пелевайн. Люди, которые пришли быть зрителями, вдруг стали сами практически на арене, это можно сказать, мировой, мировой медии. Мне был интересен с креативной тоже позиции театр внутри театра, что называется. The theater at the heart of the Moscow terror siege of 2002, when 200 hostages lost their lives, has been the inspiration for a play by Russian-born dramatist Natalia Pelavin. In Your Hands, premiering at London's New End Theater, has been banned in his native country amid accusations of exploitation and creative insensitivity. Well, we actually discussed it with Anastasia and with other uh, victims' families. They keep telling me that, Natalia, you are you're fighting terrorism in your own way. And we, as victims of terrorism, are very thankful for that. So if they want to call it exploitation, let them. 